here we are. Okay, so this is my very... Now, this is another pet episode. Now, this is about Tuka. I, I just gave him a dust bath. I tried to make the episode, but I needed it, but I had too little storage to make this episode. So this is what's inside of his chinchilla bowl. It's food produced by, what's it called again? Sorry about that loud noise, that's the metal bowl. Uh, KT, Chunky Government Diet. It's meant for chinchillas. Now, I recommend getting the ones that have chinchillas on them. If you do not get the ones with chinchillas on them, I'm sorry. It just will not work out. And my you know, chinchilla might die some earlier time. Now, don't be worrying about why there's wood in his cage. The reason why there's wood in his cage. See this? The three is still in there. These are easy to get. Just get them from scrap piles, but do not let them be soggy or wet. If they're wet, you do not know what's in that water that's inside of it or if it's oil or anything. So get it dry, no tags on it, nothing on it. Just cut a piece of wood off, give it to your chinchilla, and remember to always lock your cage. Oh wait, that's my wrong finger. Securely. Now, I had another chinchilla earlier. Rip in pe rest in peace, Scumpy. This is his house. Now I recommend getting him a little playhouse or something small for him to rest in. Like this one's Tuka's, and his is blue and. He actually likes it. He spends time in it, though. And also, and here's also his water thing. So do not get one too big. Get one rodent size. Now this chinchilla care, not mouse care. Now I'm also a kid recording this, but see this. This is actually meant for his bowl. You put his bowl in it with food goes in and if you reach into his cage you can just oh he's coming to it he's coming let's check this out I'm gonna get some food from it there chinchilla food that's some noises he makes uh, here's his wheel. I recommend one this size for a chinchilla or a large rodent now. Yeah, so these things might be annoying right here, but it's useful. Do not take them off in case if someone forgets to lock the cage. I cannot open it without lifting this, and the chinchillas are not able to lift it up. And then you just do that and I'm able to open even if you do this. Still won't be able to open. That thing is meant to keep it there. Or if your cage doesn't have one of these, I recommend you putting one of these. Please subscribe to my channel as well and leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section. Now there are also these doors on the bottom side. I don't put them down here until we get a second not a secondary chinchilla. And there are also little ladders and stairs in here. Okay, so here is one of the stairs. You can always get knocked down. I don't know why this always happens, but it always gets knocked down like that. That should be a secure position for now. Um yeah, there are so many bars you can barely see it. But I think you guys can see that one right there. This little ladder. Yeah, get a big cage. He'll love it. That's remember to always get something like this so you can always take it off. Then I need to refill that. Use sink water. Do not use what you drink. That is a waste of your water. But 
This faucet water will do chinchillas better because it is not have chemicals in it that chinchillas cannot take. It's meant for like washing dishes. Get these from faucets for washing dishes. Here, take this out. I'm trying to touch him, but look how white he is compared to how brown to compared to how black he was. I'm not being racist or anything. This that's just that's because of the dust. I recommend getting Sunseed Natural Dust Bath. Um Yeah, we have a lot of brands in here for this stuff. Uh, we have these all over the cage. You can put fortune chills in this one cage and have a bowl for each chinchilla. I'm not gonna open the one that Tuka's eating out of right now, because he's eating out of it, I don't want to disturb him. Yes, we still have the TV in here. We only watch movies on it though. Um, you can see his fur is getting wet there from the water dispenser thing. And here is his bedding, uh, a lot of chinchilla presents there, I like to call it presents, I don't want to be rude or anything, I don't want to say anything, and, well, honestly, the wood is to actually trim down his teeth, and, <sighs> get up, oh, hello, okay, you see this, right? might just look like an ordinary rock. But what's that sound coming from? That is the rock's texture. It is made out of stone and it's meant to trim chinchilla teeth, chinchilla teeth down to a size that it's supposed to be appropriate at. They gnaw on it so they can actually eat chinchilla food after now this is chinchilla care not any other thing um now i was trying to show y'all a video where he's eating where he's taking a dust bath now these are yogurt yummies i'm trying to make this video as fast as possible now extreme yogurt yummies uh I, I don't recommend which one you get if there's a bunny. As long as there's chinchilla on it, I know it's for you know it's for pets. Especially if it says yogurt yummy, small animal treat. Again, oh, that's that's just saying small animal treat. I'll be right back. Now this is a yogurt yummy. It's yum it's yum yum. I like to call it yum yums, but yummies oh, I dropped it. Look at Tuka. Look at Tuka. Okay. He loves these. Check this out. Oh, look. Check this out. Okay, I leave the bowl open. Oh! He pulls it in. But he's not able to lock it. These little screws do not take them off. They're meant to lock it. I put this in. Yogurt yummy. He goes and... Nah, yeah, he's eating the yogurt yummy right now can't really see him he's hidden now in the black he's in the darkness right now he's that he's eating right now that's how he eats big things goodbye everyone that's the end of this episode goodbye and see ya